Hello everybody, how we doing? Now, you are here with Rasa the Dancer, but this video right here is nothing to do with my dancing skill. I will be giving you one of my favorite looks when it comes to makeup, when I go out dancing. Now, this was not my choice to do this video, but I had so many requests from girls asking me how do I uh, do my makeup when I go out dancing. I do have um, what I believe a very good makeup situation when I'm out. Um, I've already discovered what works, what doesn't with sweat and um, I do have um, good products that I'm willing to share. So um, of course it's not going to be a professional makeup tutorial like you would see on YouTube because I do not do makeup tutorials and this is literally just for you to indulge your requests and also because I am trapped and basically I'm excited to do this. <laughs> One more thing. We cannot start doing this makeup without a little drinky poo. If you're thinking what this is, this is vodka and Coca-Cola. I don't usually drink Coke, but I'm in isolation and I found Coca-Cola that is probably like half a year old and I had some vodka and no other mixes. So desperate times called for desperate measures. Let me have one more sip. Okay, so while you're waiting for this makeup tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel and discover my channel because I have so much more to offer, not just what you're about to see right now. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, first things first, um, I have this, which I love to wear. So what I do, I place it like this before I do my makeup. Because my hair, like I have loads of hair and little baby hairs, which is mm, baby hair go inside, which is fantastic because that means my hair is growing. But it's very annoying when I'm doing makeup, it gets stuck everywhere and it just ruins the whole thing. So it's just literally to hold it in. What's with the little baby hairs not listening to me today? So basically when I do something like this, there we go. It holds my hair in place. The other thing that is really important and... I don't know whether this happens to you, but it happened to me and I don't want it to be repeated. I don't like to do makeup while I'm fully dressed. So unless it's something that I have to put on very, very tight. So what I have here is something that easily comes off. It's kind of like a nightgown, which you don't need to see, but it's easy to come off. So if I want to put the dress on, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, so that's basically the beginning of the situation. Now, um, before I do my makeup, um, I use a primer. Now, um, the primer you don't have to necessarily use if you don't apply heavy foundation. But now if we um talking about all night dancing, maybe in a festival, maybe you do a light makeup and then just in the day and then you retouch in the night, you kind of need it to stay a little bit better and Prime is kind of the way to go. Now, I love this primer here, which is Max Factor Smooth Miracle Primer. And there it is right here. I'm going to write in the description box what I, what, what I use. The reason I like this primer, and I don't like a lot of primers, but this one is quite fatty. So it's probably not for everybody. Um, like, I use very little primer I mean it's so little because it's so so fatty but um, it kind of helps me because the foundation like I I have very dry skin so let's just start with that because I have dry skin um, I need everything to be a little bit more fatty because then I won't feel like when I'm putting foundation like it's you get you get bits, you know, you're all dried up. I hate that. So this is um like moisturizing primer. Oh, can you see? Mm, I hope you can see it. It's like really nice. So I start by doing this, and of course, I spread it and I go around the eye as well. Everywhere, nice and easy. I don't like a lot of product on my face. Um, I think I have nice skin. My my humble opinion. I I say it to myself. Rasa, you have a very nice skin. 
So I have primer, like, well, I had primer on my hand. But I think I have really, really nice skin um, because I drink loads of water and um, I try to eat really good foods. And I do have some breakouts before my special woman days always happens one two three sometimes i get spots if i overeat something but overall i believe i have nice skin yeah and let's have more here there we go that's it and now it's all prime but can you see it's a little bit shiny but i like that because as i say i'm gonna put foundation on and i don't want it to be dry so, this is how I start. Now, before we continue, need a little drink poo. Oh. It's gonna be good makeup. Okay. Now, some people do their eyes first and then they put the foundation because if they're doing heavy eye makeup and dark shadow, it falls on the foundation and it's really hard to correct it sometimes. I am not planning to do a dark eye situation today, hence why I really don't care. So I prefer to have the foundation all done and then do the eyes or whatever. Does that make sense? So now, if you've noticed, I have a tan. So when I have a tan, um, this is me tanned. I'm a white person. This is how I tan. Um, so I tend to wear um, Estefel Lauder uh, Double Wear. See? Can you see? As I say, I'm going to write everything in the description box. But this is kind of stay in place makeup. Um, tan Lounge Genuine Fair Fair Fair. Blah, blah, blah. And it has um, SP Fee Tan which means against sun, but I, anywho, it's nighttime. <laughs> We're going dancing. <laughs> the moon will not give you problems. Um, why I love this, first of all, because I picked the shade just right. For me, foundation is tragic. I don't like most of them. Most of them, they just bothers my skin. I hate foundation. Like literally during the day, I wear no foundation because again, I like my skin. I don't like, I don't like to see foundation on my face. Um, but this one I love, the tone is perfect. And also this is not creamy. So what happens is actually matte. So when you apply, it doesn't shine. And I like that because I'm not a fan of doing a whole powder and baking and everything. As I say, I'm not a fan of heavy makeup. What you need to remember, you're going to go dancing. So the sweat is going to be happening all over. So the less foundation you can work with, the better. If you have a whole mask on your face, to maintain it with the sweat, it's really difficult. Every little imperfection you will see through the night, every like smile is going to stay in. Doesn't matter how good your makeup is and how professional. It's not made those tutorials usually for dancing that you watch. It's usually for going out, whatever. But the way we dance, we need less foundation. Now try to make it happen. So I'm going to be using this, but some other things that I want to talk about is Mary Kay. Now, Mary Kay has amazing foundation. They are also matte or like shiny, kind of like you look like you have a bit of a glow. And um, I love these foundations. They are so good. So this one's a little bit darker. And then you have, for example, I have, oh, this one's darker. I have one darker, one lighter, so one for winter, one for summer. And they are really good quality. I'm not using them now. Um but just just because I have a perfect shade for the tan that I have. But these are my go-to Mary Kay foundations I absolutely love. Okay, so time to apply makeup. I do not use a sponge. Whatever. Um, I use my finger. And the reason for that is because I don't want a lot of foundation on. Sponge does not... It applies always too much for my liking. If I would do a photo shoot, I would be using a sponge. I'm not doing a photo shoot. I'm going out dancing. So this is what I do. Watch. 
And you know, you can tell me whatever you want, but the reality is when you come to the night where I'm dancing and you see me, you will see a flawless foundation. So you can say whatever you want. My technique is perfect. So I first go like this from there upwards. Can you see? And only then I gently start going around the eye. Just like that. Can you see? And then look, start gently going a little bit lower. Same principle. I tap in and start tapping up. That's it. And I'm going to keep going. And then it's the same here, you know, you tap first like this and then you tap in because it's the pores. You don't want the pores to be seen. So you tap here a bit heavier, then you go up and only then you go around the eye because around the eye you have to go because you, you know, it has to be even, but you don't want it to be a lot of makeup because there's, that's where the wrinkles are the most. And, um, basically you're going to have wrinkled eyes. Um, then I'm going to continue again here, 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 and I'm going to do a little bit here. Um, I'm going to do it on my own. I just don't want you to watch this video forever. But the important bit is also uh, when I do my forehead, this is how I do it. I do it here and look, then I start tapping up. Can you see that? And then when I start tapping up, that's when it starts distributing. And I'm not afraid of touching the eyebrow as well because the eyebrows, we're going to do something with them as well. And then it goes to the other side as well. You know? And then when you do your nose, it goes around here. And then don't forget the inside of the nose. <laughs> That's the important bit to mention. And then, of course, your mustache. And then when you finish off, don't be afraid to go around the neckline, on the neck, around the ear, and so on and so forth. So I'll be right back with you. I'm just going to finish off with that. Okay, so as you can see, I'm finished with my foundation. Can you see how natural this is? Again, as I say, because of dancing, if I would be doing a photo shoot, this would be so much heavier. One more thing that I want to tell you. Um, another thing that I don't like about tutorials, uh, not about the technique, but about the, I actually see them um, standing outside and I can see they're wearing makeup. It, like it bothers me. Um, not because it's wrong. It's just not my cup of tea, not what I would like to do. That's why I'm making this video for you in dancing. Um, so, for example, when you apply here everything, if you need just a little bit more for like some sort of spots. So, for example, there's something here. All I do is put a little bit on here. And let's say I see something here that I would like to cover up and I'll just leave it and then I'll take care of it later. And when I do, I'll press a couple of times and it will just disappear. Nobody will see them anymore. You'll know it's there, but nobody will know. Uh, so what I was saying is that you don't want to go out and then you have this amazing light. Like I have a beautiful light here and you can see you just look amazing, right? And then you go to another light and you look awful. And it's not because you look awful. It's because your makeup was done on a perfect lighting that never exists. So you should always have your makeup tested before you go out the door. Because sometimes it looks amazing. You go to another room and you just look like you have a mask on. So really think about these things. <laughs> it's time to drink. Now. I like immediately before I do anything else, go straight to my eyebrows. I'm going to repeat myself. Natural is the best. It's kind of natural, but popping. So I, um, I always look after my eyebrows. I like my shape. I always make sure it's the right shape. And my eyebrows are pretty much like good consistency in general. So everyday life is not problematic. And I do dye them. I do dye them sometimes, um, but uh, because we're going out, we're going to make them a bit more dramatic. Don't like uh, liquid or anything. It annoys me. Um, the moment I can see that my eyebrows are done, 
as it's, it's I, I just can't. So what I'll be doing is actually using a shadow that matches the color of my eyebrows. It has a bit, a bit slightly different darker shade and it will give me what I'm looking for. So I'm using Naked uh, from Urban Decay shadows and I actually love their shadows in general they have very good quality they are a little bit expensive but they're very good quality and they have the shades that I like many many different palettes um so this one is that one the dark the brown whatever and um, I'm gonna be using dark horse for my eyebrows because they're kind of brown whatever color so this is kind of the color I'm going to go for. And in the beginning, it doesn't look like it's supposed to be that color. And I'm just going to go with kind of like this kind of brush. And look what's going to happen. I barely tap like so gently and then <laughs> make sure I do this and then have a look. You see where this is like slightly seems like there's a bit missing. I start gently combing them. Can you see what's happening? Oh my god, I'm impressed myself. I see this all the time. But let's see. Oppa. There we go. So I start from filling in. And the reason I like using this brush because it actually combs the eyebrow at the same time as it paints. But can you see how natural it looks? I'm not finished, of course, yet. It takes it takes a dedicated time. Anybody who does eyebrows, they understand how dedicated you need to be. So I'm going to, of course, do it again on my own, not to waste your time. But the idea is that I love using the shadow. I don't like liquid. Again, some people tattoo their eyebrows and stuff, so they have it all the time. Good. Um, I just, as I say, I do so many different photo shoots, so many different styles, uh, dancing events that I need to have different looks all the time. And I prefer just to fill them in if I have to, rather than have a permanent one. But my mother has a permanent one and she looks great. Um, but... Um, Yes, eyeshadow is my go-to. I don't like a pencil. You can see the pencil if the um, eyebrows are not, you know, I have a lot of hair on the eyebrow. If people don't, you can see the pencil inside. Again, it bothers me. Anything that I can see that something is done to you, it is not done right. So I'm just going to fill this in and come back to you. So you know, guys, how they say eyebrows changes the person? <laughs> it does. And you know, it you can now like notice the eyebrows a lot but don't forget we're going to be putting on eyeshadow and everything so the full makeup once we're finished the eyebrows will just look the part so we always want to go like a tiny bit of a shade darker than your uh, normal eyebrows and you can't go wrong after the makeup is done but can you see and i i just used the shadow you know and it looks so natural it looks like my own eyebrows but just like better version of it, you know? I like them. Anywho, we're gonna go to the eye makeup now. I'm gonna use, um, again from Naked Urban Decay and my favorite color, which is Sin. Um, as you can see, it's my favorite. It's almost dying, and I loved it so much. I got from Urban Decay, especially that color as well, just to because I use it so much. So just to have it open, just to have it separately. Can you see? That's the color we're going for. And the reason I love this color because usually you don't want to put the first eyeshadow all over the eye. Usually, the first over the eye is a base. I don't need a base. With this color, I go all around the eye because don't forget, we're going out dancing. So it has a bit of a sparkle, but it's not in your face. And it's just nice and you don't have to do like a lot of situation. That's why it's so easy to do. And you just can cover the whole eye and then something else will happen later. But just like, it's really, really easy. But the color, you will notice. And I'm just using their brush. I have other brushes as well, but this brush is particularly that I use only for that color. So it's fine. So... Again, I go like a lot of it and then I go and then look, I'm just going start tapping. I tap, I tap, I tap, I go up. You see what I mean about the color? And I go up all where the eyebrow is and it's like a little circle here. And look, it goes from the inside as well all the way up to the eyebrow. 
Don't worry about how it looks. Just make sure it's even. Because it all will make sense in the end. We are painting people. We're going to paint. So all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. All the way. Just like that. And you know what we can do as well? In the meantime, we can go down and go all around. You will understand. It won't make a lot of difference later, but you will understand. Can you see how much more there is a little bit in the corner? That's per That's perfect. That's what we want. Oh, can you see how green my eyes suddenly start looking? And that's because it's a light color and it just stands out. And look a little bit more closer to the eyelashes and make sure everything is even. Can you see the color? So it's definitely like, it's like a, a color, you know, there's, there's some sort of shimmy or whatever situation, but it's a solid color and a bit more here. And um, yeah, and this is enough. So you can be your base and your main shadow at the same time. I love it. So let me just, have another drink. By the time we finish, this is going to be gone. Oh, and then I'm going to do a photo shoot. <sighs> I'll be back with another eye. So look at this. You see what I mean about this color? It's gorgeous. And the inner out, uh, light in the, in the corners of the eye in general is good. But what it also means that when you're dancing and the night progresses and your eyes get tired and everything's like a little bit blah, that, you know, this is still shining. So it looks like you're still alive. <laughs> that is the point. So now it's not enough, um, but it's definitely enough for the eyeshadow. I mean, again, you're going to be sweating and whatever. And this, this is enough. It's shimmery. It's noticeable. So what we're going to do now is an eyeliner. My personal opinion if you're going to do an eyeliner, it can go disastrously wrong. If you're not an experienced eyeliner situation person, then it's just going to be tragic. So what I tend to do, I tend to do with the shadow first, and then I exaggerate with an eyeliner. And when it's with the shadow, uh, it looks more natural. <laughs> same more, same more. But then um, when you put just a touch of eyeliner after, it actually stands out more. So you have a natural look, but it stands out amazing. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. But just for the courage. <laughs> we need the drink. Oh. Mm. Okay, so now for this scenario, we need a different brush. Okay, so I have this brush right here. I can't remember where I got it from anymore. It was a long time ago, but I love this one. And this one, look, it's, it's like paints black because I only use it for that particular thing. So it has that kind of situation here. You see? So I'm going to be using from the Body Shop, uh, believe it or not, Down to Earth Eye Palette. This is it. And basically what I'm going to do, I have, I love this, but I have two colors here that I tend to mix. So if I want to go a little bit more serious and more solid, I will go for this one because this is matte. But if I want to go a bit more relaxed and shimmery, whatever, I go for this. This looks extremely shimmery, it's black, but it's not that shimmery when you put it on the eye. It's just more relaxed. It's not matte, it's more forgiven and it's easier to blend if you decide to blend as well. So that's what I'm going to go for now because I have shimmer. So I'm going to go with the shimmer, whatever, just to kind of even it all out. So what I tend to do, I just take a little bit of that and I go... <laughs> And then I draw. So I'm going to start with this eye so you could see better. <laughs> this one you can't see as good. So when you go from here, I always, can you see the way I love this brush? So the way I hold it, I hold it here not to pull. I hold it here just to, can you see, it's just a touch to open a little bit, but not to stretch because otherwise it falls differently when you, when you paint it. I hope that makes sense. So I just touch for convenience and then look, I just go like a touch upwards first. Can you see that? And then it goes here.
can you see don't worry about it too much it's all gonna make sense again after but the idea is this that when it's here it goes a little bit up first and then it goes around now a couple of points i'm gonna make here and i'm gonna go i'm not poking my own eye I'm trying to go really, really close to my eyelids. I don't like a big eyeliner situation. I like just a little bit. But can you see how beautiful this is? Mm. <laughs> it's a success. You could have gone so much worse. Okay. So the idea is because it's an eyeshadow as well, it's so easy to fix. Once you put in the eyeliner, I said, you doomed. You know, it's like, oh, it's tragic. So what I want to say here is depending on your eye, what kind of eye you have, I have a big eye. So... What do we want to try and and do is usually paint all the way around and it makes it smaller or you leave it halfway and it makes it bigger. So it depends what you want to achieve. Um, if I would be going out just somewhere, maybe I would do just a half. But because I'm going out dancing and I want it to be more of a statement, it's at night and I want to be more ooms, I'm going to go all the way around. So let me just, hmm, let me just get more shadow. <laughs> You have to blow because if it falls on you, it's so annoying. I mean, there's a way to fix it. Now I'm going in and coming towards the line that I created. Do you see what I mean with the shadow? It's just amazing. Look. In. Can you see? We're not done yet. I'm just saying it's nice. And I'm just going to go a little bit more here. Trying to, you know, achieve the situation that I want to have. There we go. I think it's really nice. And what we need to do as well now, the same underneath. Again, it depends what eye you're going to have. I like to do the underneath. I like to go for the whole drama. But I, when I go underneath, I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm just going to go slightly over the half line. Just a little bit. There we go. Just over. With the same. There we go. Don't worry. Once we finish everything off, it will all make sense. So just underneath. There we go. We got an eye. <laughs> Let me finish with the other one. Okay, so here we are. Very, very dark and black. But don't worry. Now this is the next step. What we're going to do, we're going to take the same brushes we did before with the sparkly white eyeshadow. Take a bit of it, just a little bit. And what we're going to do is just touch it. Not all the way, but just a little bit. So to take the edgeness of the black. And look. Just going around here again, just to take the blackness around, you see? So then it sort of kind of melts together. And then here as well, look, just going over the edge, not in, just over the edge to take, to make it more smooth and even, like more natural, like we want to talk about. And look, we're going around here and it becomes, can you see, more smooth. It doesn't look like black, sparkly. It's all like... We're together, we're blending, we're enjoying a good time. And then also just a little bit more in a corner because we are almost done with the whole eye situation. So basically, you see what I mean? When you go out dancing, you don't want to sweat and all the, you know, shades and everything starts falling and melting all your foundation. You just want a good primer. You want to match the foundation to your skin so you could use it as minimum as possible by the way remember where we touched the spots look it's like it's almost the same with your skin can you see so yeah you want to more focus on eyebrows so actually your face looks more alive so then you need to focus less on how much meat you put on your face because if you have eyebrows you already stand out you don't look tired so then if you have a brighter shiny eyeshadow again you look more alive rather than tired and then of course the black here it just seems like you actually made an effort and you're going out so now to finish it off we want the eyeliner 
and we want a mascara eyeliner and mascara now you know what means when we're putting eyeliner <laughs> drinking time mm. maybe not the best time before eyeliner so now i never put both eyeliners and then mascara because what it does, if a little bit goes on my eyelashes and I put mascara on, it bothers me. I can feel it when it gets dry. When I try to put mascara on, it bothers me. So what I tend to do, I tend to put eyeliner and immediately mascara. Now, what that also means, you have to be super careful because if uh, eyeliner haven't dried, sometimes it puts some spots on, on your shadow. But because we have black eyeshadow already, it covers it up sometimes and it's easy to retouch if that happens. Am I smart or what? So I'm going to be using number seven, Stay Perfect Liquid Eyeliner. Can you see? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But it will be in the description box. So I like this eyeliner because it's super duper skinny. And that's what I mean. I just want to touch. I'm going to show you. <laughs> this one I just gonna touch look touch 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 can you see how close to the lashes I go that's why it bothers me when it dries because I go really close look touch 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 can you see and then look just one flick it's so skinny you won't even see it almost can you see but there's a difference just immediately standing out but if you come like super duper like ridiculously close you can see this line but it's almost like a tattoo isn't it but because you had the black shadow it just all blends perfectly so then immediately we then go to mascara this is mac mascara it looks like this is black and uh, extreme dimension bold black lash that's what it is extreme dimension bold black lash and i love this eye uh, um, mascara because it's amazing to go out because it is extreme and i sometimes put eyelashes on and uh but i don't want to focus on it this this first tutorial that i ever give you but if you want to know how to put good eyelashes on i'm very good at putting eyelashes on i find it very easy so um if you like me to do a tutorial on how to put the eyelashes on just let me know i'll do that for you it's super easy um so yeah i use this mascara but because it's so so extreme the first layer i'm just gonna look I take how can you see how much of it is it's really good mascara actually guys it's more on an expensive side like you can't find it in boots but it's really good okay so I go like this and look I start raising don't worry about little dots on my face I'm not the best like I have really long eyelashes which is not a complain it's a statement and that means sometimes I touch somewhere with my own eyelash. Ooh, so nice. Now, corners are important to me. <laughs> Sorry, I just touched. <laughs> it's the drink. We blame it on the drink. We fix it. So first, I make sure it's the shape that I want. See? Then... We go back, do the same thing as quick as possible before it dries. You don't want it to dry the first layer because then it's tragic. It's all going to be all very lumpy. So then you put it on the second time. You see what I mean? I have really good eyelashes. So when I put my fake eyelashes, it's just to prove a point. Like if I have a statement I want to make, if I really want to go dramatic, if I'm doing a show. But I love this mascara because for the night out, it's amazing. There we go. It's very bold. 
and I know it's not for every day going in the street that much mascara but for going out at night to dance when <laughs> and I pointed again um it's amazing because our makeup is so minimalistic so the whole accent is on the eye and then we do the bottom I don't retouch because I don't want lumps on my bottom one so I go bottom as well I know some people that they don't like to do bottom as I say because we're going out dancing I say you go for the bottom as well otherwise it just feels unfinished and we all have like our special look how we look when we do the bottom there we go so now let me just <laughs> let me just fix these those bits and finish the other eye and i'll be back with you and here we are all cleaned up there we go so now i i think that's beautiful because it, again it's all natural it doesn't seem like you make a lot of effort but your eyes stand out which is the most beautiful thing because you're going to be smiling when you're dancing and you're going to be showing your eyes <laughs> you know it's not going to be about many other things so uh one little thing that we're going to do now is just very quickly with the same that was black i'm just going to go just a little bit more underneath to make it more bold because I cleaned up, so I want to make sure that it is appropriate to what it was. Can you see just a little bit darker here? A little bit darker there where I cleaned up. You see? And it just pow, kapow. That's what we're aiming for. So kapow. Touch up. There we go. There we go. And this is it. It's nice. Okay, back to business. Cheeks. We have our makeup, eyes are done, sparkly inside, all nice. We need the cheeks. So now, this is a tricky one. Um, I love contouring, but not the way other people contour. Mine, again, is very, very um, natural. My favorite one is... natural something something had a flower on and it's like a disaster that the name came off and it's almost gone so i'm not going to be using that i'm going to use the other one which is not as good as this one but whatever but it does the trick um where is it here it is so it's again from mac bronzing powder you gotta pick the right thing for your skin tone as i say i'm tanned so i'm going to be using something really tiny and I have a beautiful brush for that, which was somewhere here. Where is my brush? No! Ahaha! Ha. I found it. Okay. This is my brush. And um, basically what I'm going to do, I use very little. I do like this. Whoop. And now look, I lift and where the ear is, you see, this is the cheekbone. This is the ear, this is the line. Look, you paint the line and circle, 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 circle. See, I'm holding because I have little here, so it annoys me. And circle, 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 circle. Can you see something is happening? But as you see, but as I say, I am such a natural kind of look kind of girl, I hate too much of everything. So I'm going to take just a little bit more because I'm going to do a little bit here as well to blend it with the line that's happening here. But you can, the thing is, because you're going dancing and you are going to be sweating, you can put a little bit more when it comes to contouring. Um, and then also, of course, the other side. Same principle. Oh my God. Can't see this way as okay. So we were going with um, our we got a little bit disconnected there, but we are back. So once you did this part, the jaw, it's nice. I'm taking you a little bit lower with me. 
um, it's nice to do a little situation here. Look, I'm doing this and this. You know where, can you see the, the area where it stands out? I do here. And then usually when I put all my clothes, not now, but when I put all my clothes, I go with the cheek uh, cheekbone. <laughs> because I've been drinking you see this bone I mark this bone let's have more bones stand out this bone that bone a little bit on the shoulder so you kind of like spread out a little bit on the back you see this part on the back as well so you have like you your body looks like it's sculpted it's nice so once we've done that we go immediately to our rouge so now we did the sculpting. So now what we're going to do, we're going to actually have a bit of a pink situation. And it's going to be from the same natural collection with the flower. The one that is running out, the one that I love so much. I just love it so much. I think it's natural, natural ingredients as well. I use very little. It's very strong. So I tap like that and I go, <laughs> I, I really don't like pink, pink, just a little bit. So I go like this. <laughs> And then if you just, I go around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I go towards my cheek. Mm, blend, blend, blend. Towards the cheek. Blend, towards the cheek. Can you see the difference? This looks happier than this one. And we do the same for the other one. can you see just a touch so it looks like you are healthy because <laughs> foundation kills all your pigments it kills all of your natural blush so we want to actually look like we are alive so that's what it would look like. See? It's nice. Where's my light? Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So one more little thing before we go to the lip. It's a um, highlighter. Now with a highlighter, guys, you don't have to use it. I am not a fan of highlighter that you can see a lot. But because we're going dancing, might as well. It's not like going to a restaurant you know it's it's kind of like a club when you go dancing so i have this um which is mega lightning makeup obsession highlighter illuminator so i go just on the side with the same brush blow everything and look just go like that can you see the shimmer it's happening right enough i mean enough I don't know, what's with the obsession of, like, sparkle never-ending? <sighs> a little on a brow, a little on a bit, another one. It just lifts everything up. And then a bit <sighs> on the nose. Can you see? Just a bit. I mean, again, it's like sometimes so much is just too much. A bit on the lip. Take it off. Too much. Can you see? Just a tit. And a bit on the cheek. So it kind of just goes through. Maybe a bit here. So you have a bit more situation happening, but really like don't uh, do whatever you want, of course. But like when there's like everything is shimming all the time, look, this is nice. You see this natural shimmy, but when there's all shimming all the time, I don't know. No my cup of tea. So there we go. Now we go down into the lip. Uh, so I love the lip. Um, I like bright colors because as you can see my makeup is very natural and the lip uh, as my friend Mary Lou once said you could go out without makeup you put a bit of lip on and it seems like you already have makeup on so I like lip um, if I would have really bright eye I would probably have something lighter here if I have something light here I would probably go brighter here I'm very good with red lipstick. I know exactly the lipstick that you would like to use. So if you would like to know how to put red lipstick on, let me know. Because that could be tricky as well. And I know how to make it shiny and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but today, I'm just going to go, hmm, maybe not that one. 
perfect. Okay, I love these ones. Again, my friend Mary Lou, the one that talked about the lip, um, gave me these. Um, she guided me towards these. And this is something... Oh, what is the name? Molly Rouge. Something Jolly Rouge. Oh my God, it's something Jolly Rouge. It's really good lipstick. It's not cheap as well. Oh... I will try and remember it and put it in the comments um, in the description box. But I'm going to be using this pink lipstick. I'm a light person in general, so these colors suit me. I'm not going to do a pencil, but what I tend to do, I always tend to draw my lipstick just a little bit outside my line to make the lips a little bit more plump. But more or less, I follow the, the guide rules. So I'm going to go like this. Love this color. And then... Like this. <laughs> First tap. I don't like access. You see? Nice. It's kind of like it's a pink color. But not candy. Which I love. I keep tapping because I don't like access. And then if I want to make it bigger, I just do like that. And then with the tip, I go like this. <laughs> you know, I'm doing this to the phone, right? Not even to the mirror. One second. There we go. You see that line? I did it next to the mirror. So it becomes like a line. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're going to do it so much better when you're actually looking at the mirror. There we go. And I think that's beautiful. There we go. And that's it. And that is my lip. And I think it matches nice because I have a bit of a rouge and I have a light situation here. The lip stands out, but it's not in your face. It's a neutral color. It's not candy. So it can kind of suit everything. And don't forget now and then to go. And you know, sometimes they say you can do this. My hands are clean. Or are they? <laughs> so basically this is the lip situation here and this is it this is your final project almost forgot uh because you're going out dancing you might want to do a makeup finishing spray and that is good because if you do put more makeup than i do if you do like more foundation heavier makeup this spray kind of helps you to keep it all in place I usually use Mary Kay if I put heavier makeup. For this one, I wouldn't be using it, but for heavier makeup, I would. Um, definitely, like if I'm doing photo shoot and then I'm going dancing or something. So basically, I just put it a little bit further away from me. Close your eyes. Spray a couple of times. Let it be. Let it dry. And basically that's what it is just let it dry there's little drops of it so basically i love mary Kay one because it doesn't smush my makeup some of them you know you can feel it and you look actually different after you spray it than you looked before which is not cool at all and this one doesn't do that at all there we go so you can do that if you do a heavier makeup so this is kind of then it would be definitely the final touch okay guys i hope you enjoyed this remember i am not a professional makeup artist what i do i do it well but i know my face i know what looks good on me and what doesn't um but this kind of makeup when i go out i use it all the time i might change the lip but this is more or less what you would see and of course everything changes you see i take this off you already it looks different and then of course if you Look, you put your hair out. It looks different as well. 
of course my hair is not done or anything and I probably wouldn't have it out if I'm going out dancing but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I did this for you and um, you know if you want to see more because as I say I'm so good with red lip makeup I'm so good with eyelashes if you struggle with all of these things and if it's something of an interest to you just let me know um, I would love to do these videos for you I have more time than usual now now, so I'm free <laughs> just let me know leave a comment and of course if you watched all of this then you have to subscribe to my channel you can't have watched all of this and not subscribe but one more thing I'm gonna leave you with the drink but one more piece of advice that my friend Mary Lou told me that's a good friend right there if you have a lipstick on and you don't want to leave it uh, on the glass all you need to do is this and then make sure it's your own glass don't lick any glass and then look, you put the lip here. Can you see? It's a miracle. And then your lip doesn't get stuck to the glass and you keep your lipstick. I think it's genius. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. Now I'm gonna finish off my drink and I'm gonna make a photo shoot just for you. I kiss and I leave you.